Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of chemistry and of course today we are going to be looking at uh, acidity or alkalinity in bracket we'll say the ph concept the ph concept all right so uh well this is a continuance of our series on acid bases and salts and of course we have done a lot of episodes before this uh before this episode please go back to those episodes watch them so that you can follow us accordingly to this recent episode all right uh so we're looking at acidity or alkalinity the ph concept round the uh, acidity or alkalinity of a substance is expressed by using a number ranging from 0 to 14 right the acidity or alkalinity of a substance is expressed by using a number ranging from 0 to 14 all right so it's usually like a scale so the scale of numbers ranging from 0 to 14 that expresses the acidity or alkalinity of a substance is what we call the pH scale. All right, so it's a scale, right? It's a scale that what has numbers written from zero to what to fourteen that it is to express the acidity or alkalinity of a substance. Meanwhile, also know that the acidity or the alkalinity or the pH rather of a substance may be less than zero. In other cases, it may be greater than zero. Right, it's not necessarily means that all substances must fall within what zero to what to 14. If you want to do some little research, let me give you a little bit. Look for the uh, pH of 22.4 mole per dm cube of hydrochloric acid. Right, so this is just by the way, just if you want to test yourself. Uh, the next episode, we're going to do, of course. Uh, calculations in pH. We are going to learn how to work, look for the pH of what of substances. All right. So that is just uh, in the next episode. So make sure you want to join us in that class. All right. So like I said, pH scale. Right. It's a. It's it's, it's like it's a, it's like a meter. Right. That what that has for this that as these numbers express from zero to fourteen. That this to to express or show what the acidity or alkalinity of what of a substance. All right. Also ph the term ph ph itself means potential of hydrogen so ph means what potential of what of hydrogen this word was first coined by a man called loris lawrence loris sorensen rather sorry loris sorensen but the first person to what to coin this word pH, all right. So, and very importantly, it is good to note that what that the pH of a solution depends on the temperature at which it is measured. The pH of a solution depends on what on the temperature at which it is what it is measured because of a reason. It is because of the variation of the ionic product of water, ionic product of water. With temperature all right so I'm saying I'm telling you that what that the pH of a solution depends on what on the temperature at which what it is measured and it is because of the variation between the ionic product of water and temperature which actually talks about the fact that the degree of ionization of water increases with increasing temperature once you increase the temperature the degree of ionization of what water what we increase all right that is what the variation basically is talking about all right so i've told you that the uh, ph means potential of hydrogen and of course it is measured using what a ph meter we use what ph meter all right so a ph meter is what you use what to measure what the ph of what of a substance all right now the pH of a solution actually what expresses the concentration of hydrogen ions in a solution. The pH of a substance what expresses what the concentration of what of hydrogen ions in a solution. Why it is good to know this? Now I would like to what do a little experiment to buttress what this point further. If I given that the pH of two solutions, 
A and B, for example, if I give him that the pH of two solutions, A and B, for example, is 2 and 8, respectively. Right? Now, I'm giving that what the pH of solution A is what is 2, the pH of solution B is 8. What can we infer from this? Let me now tell you. Because the scale is from 0 to what? To 14, right? I told you, right? So, that means what we can infer from here is that, well, that, that the pH of B1, the pH of solution B is greater or is higher than what? Than that of what? Of A. It's as simple as that. You can see, pH of B is 8 here. pH of A is what is true. Now, 2. A is more acidic than B. A is more acidic than B. And again, what else can we see here? B is more alkaline than what? Than A. 3. B is more alkaline than A. Alright? So these are the inferences what we can draw from what? From these two solutions. A and B having this what pH values, right? That the pH of B is obviously greater than what A, because this is 8 and this is 2. And that pH of what A, a so that, sorry, that what that A is more acidic than B because it has what a lesser what pH, right? Now, why B is what is more alkaline than what than A? This seems to tell us that pH is in terms of its number values. pH is usually in terms of what of its number values, but not in terms of acidity or alkalinity, right? That pH is in terms of what its number values and not in terms of what acidity or what alkalinity. So if I tell you that what that pH of a substance is what is nine, because it's higher does not mean what is more acidic, right? It does not mean it's more acidic because look at the scale from the meter from zero to fourteen, right? From uh from zero to uh seven, from year to year between this, between from year to year. From zero to what to, to this to this point is what acidic all right why from what from this point to what this point is what alkaline so as the ph increases it becomes more, more alkaline so seven is like a neutral point seven is a neutral point so at this point it's what it is neutral all right so uh when the ph is what is higher it's more alkaline and not more acidic so don't get it twisted so, because that the pH of a, of a substance is high, it does not mean it is more acidic. It does not mean that at all. So, that's why I'm saying that pH is in terms of what? Of its number values. It is not in terms of what? Acidity or what? Alkalinity. If you want to really test or know if a substance is acidic, now you have to what? Use the meter to see. If you fall between what these values, from between 0 to, uh, let's say, 6.99, right? Because 7 is like a neutral point, right? So, you fall between that value, you know that what? That substance is acidic. If it falls above from uh, above seven to what? So uh, so maybe fourteen, because this is fourteen now huh, at this point. If it falls what between that value, you should know that what the substance what is alkaline. All right. So you should not just use here the value and say ah it is acidic. You will not. That is not how you want to tell, right? So know the word, know the range. The scale ranges from zero to fourteen. So zero to like six point nine 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 is what is acidic. Seven is neutral, right? Why from 7.1 7, uh, 7 to, to like 14 is what is alkaline, all right? So these are the inferences we're able to, uh, to draw. Now, mathematically, right, when I say pH is, mathematically now, pH, pH is equal to the negative logarithm of the word hydrogen ion concentration, right? This is what pH is, or negative logarithm to the Hydrozonium ion concentration. All right. So this is what pH is mathematically. Mathematically, pH is the negative log into the hydrogen ion concentration or the negative log into the hydrozonium ion concentration. All right. This brackets you are seeing here means concentration. It means concentration. All right. And then of course, this means concentration. That means that if you want to pronounce this now like this inside. It's pronounced as what hydrogen ion concentration. So this is how what we pronounce it. Pronounce it as hydrogen ion concentration. 
as simple as ABC. And of course, you can use hydrogen ion and hydrogen ion interchangeably. All right, so they can be what interchangeably. You can use what interchangeably. Remember our definition of what of acid from Zvante Ionos, right? If I've not watched any of those videos, please go back to the previous episode before this and watch the beginning of acid bases and salts and begin to work. Follow us closely so that you understand where we are coming from, so that you will be able to know where we are going to going to. All right, so there are so there are other formulas that you can use, right? You can this can be written as that pH. It's because we know that negative log to uh, hydrogen in your concentration can be also be positive log regime of of one over hydrogen ion concentration. All right, so it can also be written like this: positive log regime of what one over hydrogen ion concentration, or of course in hydrogenium form, it's number what positive log regime of one over what hydrogenium ion concentration. All right, so you can write this formula. This one, like all this, as this, they are both the same thing. So if, I, if, if you don't have any knowledge of mathematics, there's a topic on logarithms on this channel. So go and watch logarithm and understand the laws of logarithm and see how you can play around this. Because if you do not have any knowledge of mathematics, the question comes like this under logarithm to calculate pH, you will fail it. Right? So please, there's a video, there's a video on logarithm on this channel. Go and watch it. All right. So of course, now. Now that I've seen that, it can also be written as positive logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration raised to power minus one. Or, so positive logarithm of what? Uh, hydrogen ion concentration or raised to power what? minus one. So these formulas that all were the same. This, 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 any way you write them, it works what fine. Right? So there's another formula for a related term called POH. Right? Because we have what? Uh, PH. Acid have what pH, uh, bases have what pOH, right? So uh, if related to pOH, uh, you see the same. Okay, let me take this off, please. If I'm done with this, let me take this off. If you want to get to write anything down, you can just take the video back for a bit and uh, and take them down. So for your related term, related term pOH, right? pOH because of negative log regime of the what of the hydrogen ion concentration. It's as simple as that. Or of course. It can be a positive logarithm of what? Of um, positive logarithm of one over the hydrogen ion concentration, or of course, or positive logarithm of the OH ion raised to power minus one. All right. So this is the same thing as this, as this, as this. So all these are valid. You must make sure that you always take note of them. Now there are some relationship that exists between pH. And POH itself, right? Because you have to take note of that also in an exam condition, it can be can be very useful to you. PH plus POH is equal to 14. Alright, please note this. PH plus POH. When you add what pH plus POH is equal to what 14. Alright, it is valid. Now also hydrogen ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration, right? Is equal to what? Uh, 10 raised to power minus 14. All right, so please you must take note of this also. So all these are what are uh, formulas that we're going to be using to what to calculate what pH. So let me just write pH down so that they'll be on the same side. So it says negative logarithm of the hydrogen ion concentration, or of course positive logarithm of one over hydrogen ion concentration, or positive logarithm of the hydrogen ion concentration raised to power minus one all right so this this or this remember that we have said earlier that what we can use hydrogen ion concentration and what hydrogen ion concentration interchangeably so we can use them what interchangeably they work they all work together all right so please make sure that what you you know these formulas they are very easy they are very easy and very useful in our next episode uh, if you have not liked this video, make sure you give this video a like right now. Liking the video will make other students easily find our video. If you have not subscribed, subscription is free. Subscription is so that once we release a new video, you'll be notified on your phone that we have published a new video. All right? So please, don't forget to share this video also to your friends and family. Now, our next episode, I'm going to be doing calculations in pH. I'm going to be using these formulas to solve questions on what? On pH. All right? So, uh, without further ado, my name is Oula Bitangod, a.k.a. MCO Blue. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.